This illustration deals with systems of uh, 4160 volt. Now, if we took 4160 volts or 4160, however you want to state that, divide it by 1.732, then we would come up to, with our voltage to ground of 2400 volts when you actually use the voltage rating that we're used to in our industry. Now, this figure illustrates how many amps would uh, you obtain using this voltage. Notice that transformer. 2,000 kVA, really uh, feeding a switch gear that supplies a lot of load, different sub-panels, so forth. Now notice the voltage to ground to be obtained is just quoted, phase-to-phase -phase voltage, 4160. Divided with the square root of three, because it's a three-phase system, we come up with 2401.9 uh, or 2,000 uh, 401 volts uh, times 9, but 0.9, excuse me. But now notice, uh, the industry just rounds that down to 2,400 volts. So they call it 4160, 2,400, three-phase, four-wire system. But that voltage to ground, you see, is 2,400 volts. So it's just certain types of equipment that would use that type of voltage. But we're usually using this voltage you see here in a large industrial type facility. And when we do the math uh, in calculating the amps, you know when the math is done, uh, we take 4160 times the square root of three, divide that into 2000 uh, kVA times 1000, we come up with 278 amps on those conductors. Do you see how smaller number uh, size conductors it could be used? Uh, you take 278 amp, uh, what, you know, uh, you round that up, that's a 300 amp main to get the full 278 amps, or round it down to 250 and protect everything, uh, you know, within the switch gear, uh, so to speak. But notice phase to phase voltage is 4160. Phase to ground is 2400. And figure 4 8 illustrates the higher the voltage, the lower the amps. So that is why you see in our industry, if you're dealing with industrial facilities, that you may get into some very high voltage so these conductors could be smaller. For example, we may be routing uh, 13,800 volt from a substation to a switch gear uh, in a facility. And if that was the case, in the calculation, we have 4160, that'd be 13,800 times 1.732. Do you see how that amps comes down and how smaller conductors could be used? And that's exactly what these figures that we've been reviewing uh, for uh, dash one through four dash eight. But this particular illustration uh, we're looking at here, figure four dash eight, illustrates the amps that would be present and provided when we are using systems of 4160 volt, three phase, uh, four wire type systems.